touch from the outset. Yeah, good start. It's not easy to play those shots in the he first make few mistakes. So I don't know if you noticed, I, I told you that uh, he has used that trick shot uh, maybe too early since that. He's used it three times, and none of the times Shu has fallen for it. But he still won seven of you. And a run of six points in a row means that Howard Shu very much in the mix in this match against Yartsev, although the Russian has an 11 10 lead. is controlling the rallies lately attacking well it's coming all the time that one oh dear Fourth year at UCLA doing business economics. But uh, he's lost that first game. And it's Anatoly Yaksev who takes it 21 points to 18. Been good, good weapon for for yard surfing. Yeah, good rally. Quick to get around it. Five, yeah, you. Played a good smash down the line. Just again proves my point. From his point of view, he must attack. Good defense by Haoshu. Yeah, well played. Very good point for Yatsef as well. And if he's looking good, isn't it? He does. Set up now, 11 7 up in the second here. And Apollo Yatsev. I'm sure he's very happy with that one. When right according to the game plan. That's at his best. He, he must attack him, and he doesn't. Is this playing? He's got to go for that one. Just letting him down again, that front court. And when it's turning into a, a terrific display from the Russian. Yep, and I will eat my words again. I thought that uh, Howard Chu had a better chance than what we've seen today. Ten match points. And it's out, and that is that. That's uh, as comprehensive as the Russians could have hoped, really. Two up in the uh, match itself. 21-18, 21-10. Howard Shute 
Unfortunately, couldn't hit the heights he would like. Yatsev, only 20 years of age, but showing his promise in that one. And only 27 minutes on court for Russia to get their second point of the evening. Now they'll be uh, vacating the hot seat for Jill Clark. And uh, I'll be uh, handing over to her with Russia in a very good position to take the win here in the match against America, having already beaten Sweden on Tuesday.